Donating blood is one of the most precious gifts you can give to your fellow man. Blood transfusions save the lives of thousands of South Africans every single day. In fact, in our country, the target is to maintain five days worth of blood supply, but given the number of registered donors currently, it's too small to service the country's needs. So we're going to take you through the whole blood donation process so that you can become part of the business of saving lives. Cara has dedicated her time and her blood to donating today. Cara, why are you donating? Um, well, I can, I guess. I'm healthy and I've got, you know, every time they phone me and they say we're in desperate need of your blood. Wow. So I do it. I can and it's, you know, it saves lives. So why not? It takes half an hour out of my day and not even. That's amazing. So I yeah. go do it, yeah. Just because I can, I do. Yeah. You're not afraid of needles, Carl? Um, I'm not afraid of them, but I wouldn't want to look at it while okay. it's happening. All right. So let's just kind of a moment's <laughs> silence because here it goes. Ouch. And well done, Sister <laughs> Isabel. That's fantastic. That was smooth and oh. in there, hey? How'd that feel? It's it's a print prick. I mean, as I was saying, I have tattoos, so okay. it's you know, once it's in, it's done. It's That's not done. it's not sore anymore. That's right. It's just through the skin. It that literally it, that is it the burns. skin, and then it's done. Yeah. Yeah. So no pain now. No, not at all. Not feeling queasy. No. Can you look or can't you look? Um, I can. I don't want to faint on TV, so I'd rather not look. <laughs> Cara, it's fantastic. Your blood is actually rushing into the bag, which is fantastic. Well done. What do you have to be to be a blood donor? You have to be between the ages of 16 to 65. Okay. You have to be sure that you weigh more than 50 kilograms. Okay. You have to be healthy, medically healthy, and you have to lead a safe sexual lifestyle as well. And then you just have to be dedicated to helping others. As, clearly, as Cara is. As Cara is. What are the dangers of actually getting infected through donating blood? All our equipment are new and sterile and disposable. So every time we use a needle, every time we use equipment, it's new, brand new. No risks at all? No risks at all. Um, and what happens to Cara's blood after she's donated that bag? After this, her blood goes to our head office in Pinelands where it gets tested and processed. And after that, it gets sent to the blood banks where it's issued to the patient. Wonderful. Does the patient ever know who the donor is? I mean, will someone ever be able to come to car and say, thank you for donating blood? <laughs> Unfortunately not. It's a completely confidential process. Um, it's according to our standards of practice. So it's totally confidential. Okay. Cara, in your experience, how quickly do you recover after this? Not that the recovery is quiet, but how soon can you get back to normal activities? Um, pretty soon. I'm not, I can't say I'm a hectic exercising person, so it's not like I'm going to go take a run now. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel fine. I normally, you know, they always say to you, they always give you something to drink or something sure. to eat afterwards. So um, yeah, just make sure you have something to eat and drink and you're pretty much set to go. And it doesn't set you back. No, I mean, end to end, it's, it's literally 20 minutes from the time you get yeah. in, fill in the forms, needle goes in. Yeah. No, That's it's fantastic. pretty quick. For people not to it, I would think they'd need quite a good excuse for me. <laughs> Preach it, sister. How often can Cara donate? She can donate every 56 days, so it's roughly every two months. How much blood do you guys actually need? I mean, I know around this time of the year there's always an increased need for blood, but tell me about the needs. Weekly, every day of the week, we have to get, gain 700 units of blood per day. So it's quite a wow. tall order. So we need the donors to donate regularly for us. That's almost 350 litres of blood a day. That's amazing. Cory, you are a hero. Thank you so much for doing that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And listen, I'm on hand if you feel light, queasy. <laughs> but look at that bag. I mean, that bag is <laughs> almost full, yeah. which is it's amazing. Very nice to look. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. How insensitive. Typical doctor. Here. Look at the blood in the bag. You know, yeah. It looks great, Cory, which is fantastic. So thank you for donating. You're welcome. Uh, if I wanted to become a donor, in fact, if any of our audience wanted to become donors, what would they do? How would we register? It's very easy. You can just visit one of our clinics. Um, the clinic schedule is on our website, www.wpblood.org.za. Okay. And you can also fill in a donor enrollment form on the website as well. Wonderful. Well, Cara said it. Uh, Marlies said it. I'm saying it. You really have no excuse. If you can donate, you should donate. I mean, have you ever wanted to save someone's life, to know what it feels like to make a real difference and to be a hero? Well, all it takes is a pint of blood, and you get to be that real-life hero. Like Cara, who goes home today, knowing that you stood in the gap and saved someone's life. Who knows? Maybe someday someone might do the same for you. I want to live the best life.